Hello everyone, in this video we're going to rebuild the Olipop product slider which looks really beautiful and features all of their products. We're going to rebuild it in a couple of minutes without any code, so let's get started. In the instant builder I've uh, done a bit of prep work, I've uploaded all of the images that we're going to use, the color styles and also the custom font that Olipop uses. If we take a look at this section, it consists of a section here in the top with three text or two text elements and a button and then a nice slider underneath with a orange yeah, element at the bottom. So let's get started by building this first section here on the top. To get started, let's go over to the insert panel under element. Let's drag in our row. In this row, let's drag our text elements, the header, the normal text element, and then the button. Let's center align this. This looks good. Then add some spacing at the top, 24, um, and insert the text. Healthy meets delicious. Enjoy our take on the classic flavors you know and love and then shop the flavors shop the flavors the font they use right here is the Windsor font and the color is this nice and green color then the font they use underneath for the regular text element is Ano regular that's also glue the right color and then we have the button which is also green uh, the font is also on irregular and the more beige color and we should actually make this button a little bit wider so to do that we can change the spacing inside from 16 to let's say 48 um i think this looks about right and then change the radius so it's a nice and round button to 99 and this is starting to look really really good now let's work with the slider to work with the slider go to elements again and then under advanced let's drag in the carousel element which gives us already a functioning slider. If we go to the preview, we can see that we can drag, we can click, and now let's customize. First of all, the uh, navigation element should be here on the side, as you can see with the Olipop side as well. So let's do that one first. Uh, let's drag them out of the navigation layer like this and then like this and then change the position to absolute because we don't want the position of these navigation icons to interfere with the position of other elements within this section so let's go over to position let's click on absolute let's set the preset to top well bottom right actually and then a relative value of 45 no, 50 percent which brings it in the middle of this slider element let's do the same thing here change the position to absolute and then um, the bottom left and then also to the bottom at at a relative position of 50. Um, let's take a quick look i said 50 i think 45 looks a little bit more as it is in the center yes this is starting to look way better uh, what else can we change well there needs to be a bit of spacing uh, between the outside border and then the navigation element so let's do that as well by going to the specific element and then changing this position with 24 yes and then the same for the other navigation icon as you can see still works 
um, and let's continue with customization. So if we take a look at this slider, um, you can essentially see it's just images. Um, and if you click on the image, you go to that specific product detail page. Um, so let's work with this information. Um, let's go to a specific slide, head over to a image element and drag it right into this slide. Let's change the color or delete the fill color, I should say, and upload our first image. Watermelon lime. Um, it is a bit high, so let's change the height to 500 and then change the image to fit. And this should give us the right result, which it does. Um, to work in the most efficient way, let's duplicate this slide. And then we delete the empty slides and now let's upload some of the images. And here we go. It's a, uh, a super big slider consisting of many, many slides and it's starting to look really, really good. There are just a few more things we need to change. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five cans right in the overview. So we need to change this, going to edit slider and then change this to five, uh, which gives us the desired look. Also, if we take a look here, um, yeah, with the overflow setting, the cans come from either side really nicely. The icons work, navigation icons. One thing we need to do, I see, as you can see, if we go all, all the way to the beginning, is that it doesn't auto loop just yet. So let's change that. Animation loop, yes. Something that's not yet right is the space between this button and then the can. So let's change that a little bit. Here we go. This should look better. And then one final thing we need to do or two is add the orange row underneath and then make it nice and responsive. So let's first add the orange row. Let's go to the layer panel, actually drag it within the slider right here, change the position to absolute because we don't want it to sort of interfere with the position of the other elements within this slider, change the default position or the preset to the bottom. Now it snaps to the bottom, change the fill to the nice and orange color that they use. And now let's play with the minimum height until we get the desired look because it just needs to reach the bottom of the cans like this. I think this is similar. Oh, it goes a bit higher there. So let's change it to 120. And I think uh, this looks almost one on one to the Olipop side. Let's check out the responsiveness. This still looks good. This looks good. And then we have the single can. Might be nice to add a bit more spacing uh, here. So let's do that. Change this to 84. Yes, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. And this also looks good. Let's go into the preview. Slider works perfectly fine. We can also add a... Uh, a link to each and every single uh, image, which then links to the specific product detail page within Shopify. Um, this also looks good. This looks good. And this, well, we need to do one final thing here I see, and that is to uh, center the text. So let's do that. Boom. And we're all set and done and have rebuilt the Olipop product slider in a matter of minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck.